Born in 1952 in Salt Lake City, Utah, the producer had a humble upbringing. The producer's parents, a Jewish immigrant father, and a mother with roots in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, instilled a strong work ethic in their children. However, financial struggles were a constant part of their life. As a child, the producer found solace in television shows, particularly comedy programs. She was particularly drawn to the humor and wit of Carol Burnett and Lucille Ball. These early influences played a significant role in shaping her comedic style and approach to storytelling. The producer's journey to becoming a successful producer was not without its challenges. She struggled with dyslexia, which made traditional education difficult to attend. However, she discovered a passion for performing and began appearing in local theater productions. In the 1980s, the producer landed a role in a comedy show, which quickly gained popularity. The show was groundbreaking in its portrayal of a working-class family, and the producer's performance resonated with audiences. Behind the scenes, the producer was also making waves. She became the first woman to wear both the hats of a star, an executive producer of a top-rated network TV show. This achievement was a testament to her determination and creative vision. The producer's success in the entertainment industry has been marked by her willingness to push boundaries and challenge conventions. She has been a trailblazer for women in the industry and has inspired a new generation of comedians and producers. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks, the producer has remained committed to her craft. Her contributions to the entertainment industry are enduring and continue to inspire and entertain audiences around the world. Producer Roseanne Barr is a name that many of you are likely familiar with. She has made a significant impact in the world of television with her self-titled show Roseanne being one of the most popular sitcoms of the 90s. The show tackled important social issues and resonated with many families across the country. Perhaps there is a particular moment from one of producer Roseanne's works that has had a lasting impact on you. Maybe it was a funny scene from Roseanne that always makes you laugh, or a powerful episode that made you think differently about a particular issue. We would love to hear your stories and memories related to this classic star. So, what makes producer Roseanne stand out from her contemporaries in that era? For one, she wasn't afraid to tackle controversial topics on her show. From issues like poverty and homophobia to mental health and addiction, Roseanne addressed many important social issues that were often overlooked by other sitcoms of the time. Additionally, producer Roseanne's portrayal of a working-class mother was groundbreaking and helped to break down barriers for women in television. As we dive deeper into the life and career of producer Roseanne, we'll uncover many funny, shocking, and even sad facts about her journey. From her humble beginnings in rural Utah to her rise to fame in Hollywood, there's no shortage of intriguing stories to tell. So, what was your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic star? Share your stories and memories in the comments below, and keep watching to learn more about the fascinating life of producer Roseanne Barr. Ever since the producer was a young girl, she was drawn to the world of entertainment. She would often put on shows for her family, using her natural comedic timing to make them laugh. This early love for entertaining led her to pursue a career in show business. In her 20s, she started performing stand-up comedy in local clubs. It was here that she honed her unique voice and perspective, which would later become the foundation of her successful television show. One pivotal experience that fueled her desire to create her own show was her time working on a sitcom in the 1980s. She quickly realized that she had a different vision for the show than the producers and felt frustrated by the lack of creative control. This experience motivated her to create a show that truly reflected her own experiences and point of view. And so, in 1988, she debuted her groundbreaking sitcom, which quickly became a ratings hit and cultural phenomenon. The show tackled important social issues and provided a voice for working-class Americans who had previously been underrepresented on television. Throughout her career, the producer has remained committed to creating authentic and thought-provoking television. Her passion for storytelling and her dedication to her craft have left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. The producer, known for her groundbreaking work, has an impressive filmography. She gained recognition with the sitcom Roseanne, which aired from 1988 to 1997 and was rebooted in 2018. This show, focusing on a working-class family, resonated with audiences and broke stereotypes. Another must-watch is The Roseanne Barr Show, a talk show hosted by the producer herself, which ran from 1998 to 2000. It showcased her humor and candidness, further endearing her to fans. 
in the realm of film, She Devil, released in 1989, is a notable mention. The producer starred alongside Meryl Streep in this dark comedy about revenge and self-discovery. For those new to her work, Roseanne is a great starting point. It offers a unique blend of humor and drama, exploring relatable issues with authenticity. The talk show, The Roseanne Bar Show, also provides insight into the producer's personality and comedic style. In recent years, the producer has continued to create content, including the reboot of Roseanne, titled The Connors, which started airing in 2018. This further solidifies her impact and influence in the industry. Early in her career, the producer faced significant financial struggles. To make ends meet, she worked various jobs including cleaning homes and selling vegetables. Despite these hardships, she never lost sight of her dream to break into the entertainment industry. The industry was skeptical of the producer's unconventional background and comedic style. She was often rejected by clubs and producers who didn't understand her unique brand of humor. However, she refused to let rejection deter her and continued to hone her craft. The producer's resilience paid off when she was given the opportunity to produce and star in her own television show. The show was a massive success, resonating with audiences who appreciated the producer's relatable and irreverent humor. Despite facing numerous obstacles, the producer's creative solutions and determination helped her overcome financial struggles and industry skepticism. Her success serves as a testament to the power of perseverance and the importance of staying true to oneself. After the cancellation of the show, producer Roseanne Barr still holds grudges. In an interview with the Washington Post, she expressed her resentment towards co-star Sarah Gilbert, who she blames for the show's demise. She will never get enough until she consumes my liver with a fine Chianti, Barr stated. Barr has announced that she will be moving to Israel when the spin-off show, The Connors, airs. She will not be watching it and plans to stay neutral. I have some mental health issues of depression and stuff. I gotta stay in the middle or I'll go dark and I don't want to go dark again," she explained. Jerry Sinefeld, co-creator and star of the television phenomenon Sinefeld, commented on the producer's firing. He questioned the decision, stating, Why would you murder someone who's committing suicide? In an apparent reference to her self-destructive internet behavior, the show was canceled after Barr posted a racist message about Valerie Jarrett, a former political official from the Obama administration. Despite the controversy, Barr maintains that she has no ill wishes towards anyone involved in the show. In the late 1980s, the producer made a significant breakthrough with the groundbreaking television show, Roseanne. The sitcom, which revolved around a working-class family, broke new ground by addressing topics that were previously considered taboo on primetime television, such as menopause, poverty, and domestic abuse. The show's raw and honest portrayal of blue-collar life resonated with audiences, making it a rating success and a critical darling. The producer's performance as the show's lead character, Roseanne Connor, earned her widespread recognition and acclaim. She became the first woman to win an Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series in over 40 years. Her portrayal of a strong, flawed, and relatable female character was hailed as a milestone in television history. The show's writers and collaborators also praised the producer's creative vision and input. They credited her with shaping the show's tone and direction, as well as giving them the freedom to explore controversial and relevant topics. The show's success was a testament to the producer's ability to tap into the zeitgeist and create a show that spoke to the experiences and concerns of ordinary Americans. In the late 1990s, the producer made headlines again with her talk show, The Roseanne Show. The show was unique in that it featured the producer's unfiltered and candid take on current events and pop culture. The show was a hit with audiences who appreciated the producer's authenticity and humor. Despite facing numerous controversies and setbacks throughout her career, the producer's impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable. Her groundbreaking work on Roseanne and The Roseanne Show paved the way for future generations of female creators and performers, and her legacy continues to inspire and influence the entertainment landscape to this day. After being fired from her show, producer has moved on to other projects. She will not be involved financially or creatively in the upcoming spin-off, The Connors. Despite this, she released a statement wishing the cast and crew the best. Recently, producer revealed that her character will be killed off in the spin-off due to an opioid overdose. She expressed her discontent with this decision, stating that it disrespects fans of the original series. In the wake of her firing, producer's son, Jacob Pentland, has started a YouTube show for his mother. 
The show features producer interviewing different people each week. The first two episodes included interviews with ultra-conservative Trump supporter Brendan Dilley and black activist Thomas Muhammad. During the interview with Dilley, he stated that Valerie Jarrett looks like the character from Planet of the Apes, but clarified that he was referring to her hairstyle, not her face. The producer, Roseanne Barr, is known for her unique approach to comedy and television production. Growing up in a working-class family in Salt Lake City, Utah, she often drew inspiration from her personal experiences and used humor as a way to cope with the challenges she faced. Barr's artistic vision is rooted in her belief that ordinary people and their stories are worth telling. She has a knack for creating relatable characters and situations that resonate with audiences. Her groundbreaking sitcom Roseanne, which aired from 1988 to 1997, was one of the first shows to depict a blue-collar family accurately and without glamorization. The producer's creative process typically begins with brainstorming ideas and writing scripts. She often collaborates with a team of writers to develop storylines and dialogue. Once a script is finalized, she works closely with the cast and crew to bring the vision to life. Barr's worldview is reflected in her work through her advocacy for working class people, women's rights, and social justice. She has been open about her own struggles with mental health and has used her platform to raise awareness about these issues. One of the unique aspects of the producer's style is her willingness to tackle controversial topics. She has never shied away from addressing issues such as poverty, addiction, and politics in her work. Her ability to find humor in difficult situations has earned her both praise and criticism, but she remains committed to her artistic vision. In recent years, Barr has faced controversy and backlash for her political views and social media activity. However, her impact on television and comedy is undeniable. Her work has paved the way for other working-class comedians and has inspired a new generation of writers and producers. In conclusion, Roseanne Barr's artistic vision and creative process are deeply rooted in her personal experiences and worldview. Her unique approach to comedy and television production has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry, and her legacy continues to inspire and influence new generations of artists. After the scandal involving a controversial tweet, Roseanne Barr's return to television seems unlikely, according to friend Norm MacDonald. This situation brings to mind the similarities between the show, starring Barr as a reactionary character, and the classic series All in the Family, which also tackled timely issues centered around a reactionary character. However, All in the Family star Carol O'Connor was a liberal actor playing a reactionary role, while Roseanne Barr plays a character that aligns more closely with her real-life beliefs. Amidst the controversy, Roseanne Barr's television family has distanced themselves from her words, but she retains the support of her real-life son, Jake Pentland. Pentland defended his mother in an Instagram video, asserting that she did not know Valerie Jarrett is black when she made the comparison to an ape in a now-deleted tweet. He further explained that his mother was trying to express her disagreement with Jarrett's political views, not her race. Pentland also criticized mainstream media and Hollywood publicists, stating that they failed to understand the context of his mother's tweet. He acknowledged that the tweet was insensitive, but maintained that his mother had already apologized and the show had been canceled. Pentland, like his mother, has publicly supported President Donald Trump on social media. Despite the backlash, Roseanne Barr's impact on television remained significant. Her show addressed relevant social issues, and her character, Roseanne Connor, resonated with many viewers. The show's revival was successful, and its cancellation was a significant loss for fans and the entertainment industry. Renowned for her groundbreaking work in television, the producer revolutionized the industry with her critically acclaimed show. The program, which aired from 1988 to 1997, tackled controversial and taboo subjects, such as poverty, racism, and gender equality, with humor and authenticity. After the cancellation of Roseanne, John Goodman, who played Dan Connor, opened up about his feelings and the show's future. Goodman struggled with depression for around a month after the show was canceled on May 29th. He described feeling brokenhearted and expressed his surprise at ABC's decision to pull the plug due to Roseanne's tweet about Valerie Jarrett. Goodman also defended his on-screen wife, stating that she is not a racist. Despite their close on-screen relationship, Goodman described his relationship with Roseanne as more of a work friendship. They would often laugh together on set, with Goodman's goal being to make her wet her pants. However, behind the scenes, Roseanne was reportedly causing production problems with her temper tantrums, screaming, locking herself in her dressing room, and threatening to quit. 
In recent news, there have been rumors of ABC begging Roseanne to return to the Connors to improve the show's flagging ratings. However, both ABC and Roseanne's representatives have denied these claims, stating that they have not been in contact since her firing. Overall, the future of the Connors remains uncertain without Roseanne, but Goodman is optimistic and looking forward to continuing to work with the rest of the cast and crew. Outside of producing, Roseanne Barr values social justice and equality. She has been open about her experiences as a woman in the entertainment industry and has been a vocal advocate for feminist causes. In 2012, she ran for President of the United States on the Peace and Freedom Party ticket, further showcasing her political beliefs. The producer is also passionate about animal rights and has been involved in various efforts to promote animal welfare. She has spoken out against animal testing and has been a longtime supporter of PETA. In addition, Roseanne Barr has been involved in various philanthropic efforts throughout her career. She has donated to numerous charities and has used her platform to raise awareness for various causes. In 2016, she donated $100,000 to the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe in their fight against the Dakota Access Pipeline. Roseanne Barr's personal values and interests have often informed her work as a producer. Her show Roseanne tackled issues such as class, gender, and sexuality, and she has been praised for her realistic portrayal of a working-class family. She has also used her platform to speak out about political and social issues, often using her humor to make a point. Overall, Roseanne Barr's personal values and interests have shaped her career as a producer and have allowed her to use her platform to make a difference in the world. The controversy surrounding the producer started with a series of tweets that were described as abhorrent bordering on presidential. These tweets, which contained racism, conspiracy theories, and personal attacks, led to the cancellation of the producer's show by Disney. The producer's friend, Bill Maher, stated that the producer had been admitted to a mental institution and had multiple personalities, one of which is racist. Charlie Day from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia commented on the situation, stating that the problem arises when there's no thought behind the inappropriate joke. Day believes that the situation is good in some ways because it forces people to think more about the jokes they're writing and the things they're saying. The producer's downfall came shortly after the downfall of another stand-up comedian from the 1980s who starred in a top 10 sitcom, Bill Cosby. Cosby was convicted of rape on April 26, 2018, just a little over a month before the producer's firing after the tweet. In summary, the producer's career took a hit after a series of inappropriate tweets, which resulted in the cancellation of the show. The situation has forced people to think more about the things they say and the impact it can have on their careers. Reflecting on the legacy of Roseanne Barr, it's clear that she made a significant impact in the entertainment industry. She broke barriers as a female comedian, using her unique voice and perspective to connect with audiences. Her self-titled show, Roseanne, was a groundbreaking sitcom that tackled important social issues and resonated with millions of viewers. Barr's contributions extend beyond her work in front of the camera. As a producer, she had a hand in shaping the stories that were told and the way they were presented. Her ability to take risks and push boundaries helped to create a more diverse and inclusive television landscape. When it comes to the future, Barr has already expressed her intention to continue creating and producing content that challenges the status quo. In recent years, she has turned to social media as a platform for sharing her thoughts and ideas, and she has not shied away from expressing her opinions on controversial topics. For aspiring professionals in the entertainment industry, Barr offers some valuable advice. She encourages them to stay true to themselves and not be afraid to take risks. Don't be afraid to speak your mind and stand up for what you believe in, she says. And always remember that success is not about fame or fortune, but about making a difference in the world. Barr's legacy is a testament to the power of creativity, determination, and a willingness to challenge the status quo. As she continues to forge her own path, she serves as an inspiration to countless others who dream of making their mark in the entertainment industry. As we take a moment to reflect on the work of producer, many of us may have first encountered her through the groundbreaking show that shares her name. The program offered a unique and authentic portrayal of working-class Americans tackling issues that were both relatable and thought-provoking. Throughout her career, producer has demonstrated a remarkable ability to create content that resonates with audiences. From the small screen to the big screen, her projects have left an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape. The film, in particular, showcased her talent for blending humor and drama in a way that felt both fresh 
and timeless. It's a testament to her versatility as a producer that she was able to create a work that continues to captivate audiences to this day. Of course, producer's legacy extends far beyond these two projects. Over the years, she has produced a wide variety of content, each piece contributing to her enduring impact on the world of entertainment. As we celebrate producers' contributions to the entertainment industry, we invite you to share your thoughts on her work and legacy in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed this content, be sure to like and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe for more insights into the creative spirits shaping entertainment.